Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today I am going to check out Symphony of the Machine. So, you guys know I love the artistic, beautiful, trippy side of VR, and after checking out a little snippet of video and reading the description, well, that's exactly what this looks like, so I'm excited to see it. Now, I'm also going to be doing something a little different with this video. I'm going to be trying out the Oculus Mirror tool with some command line options to force it into the warp stereo view for those of you with Google Cardboards or other playback devices. I know a lot of you guys have been checking out the playlist on my channel recently. I've been getting a lot of messages and thank you for that. Um, and you guys are like, wow, man, this is really cool that I can see what high quality PC VR looks like using my phone-based VR headset. So I don't know if I'm going to do it all the time, but it's really cool to have the option to be able to do that and to take you guys with me as I play Symphony of the Machine. All right, here we are and we are in the game. And man, I got to say, this looks awesome. You know, when it started out, I saw the Unity splash screen, but I'm telling you, being in here, I'd almost think it's Unreal Engine. Um, I mean, yeah, God, everything looks great in here. All right, blah, blah, blah. Let's get on with it. So, all right, let's see what the first thing we're supposed to do here. Got some cave paintings over here. Um, yeah, it looks like chicks looking at some snow and some wind and some rain. And All right, so I'm assuming grab the ball. All right, got the ball here. Oh, there we go. All right. No, take the ball and... Ah, okay. There we go. So it does look like the movement is... Uh, rotation is uh, snap-based, which, nah, you know, I can hate that. So it looks like you can do it from either stick here. And that means I'm assuming it's probably going to be teleport. Yep, it's a teleport. Now, what's interesting, though, is, is it's using the finger. So it's like I have to extend my finger when I want the teleport. So that I've not seen in any other game. So I'll give them props for that. But developers, please, as I say in all of my videos, give me the option of free movement. This would be awesome just walking around exploring this place. So anyway, enough about all that. So let's go ahead and see if we can get to that tower over there. I do like the pointing though. That that is kind of interesting how huh? I'm having to like extend my index finger. So not hating on that. Whoa, that tower's huge. Alright, so here we are. Um okay. Let's grab that and stick that there. And Oh, okay. Now we're going to the top of the tower. God, the landscape here looks really good. And, you know, you don't have to play this room scale, but you definitely can. I mean, you know, you could stand in one spot and just teleport and snap around. I'm also loving this music. Whoa. Oh, that is way down there. I'll use my snap rotation for the purposes of still facing the camera here a little bit. Not that you guys are looking at me. Really excited to see that the uh, you know the Oculus Mirror tool is going to allow me to do these videos in warped stereo if I want them. So you know, obviously, I've removed myself to the frame. If you're not watching with a Google Cardboard, sorry for the tiny little window, but I don't want to impede anybody's uh, viewpoint there. So, all right, let's see here. What do we got? We got a big eye. We got some machine over there. Uh, stick my hand there and see what happens. Uh, hey, what's up, robot dude? 
Um, okay. I shall call you Flutie. Flutie the robot. Okay. So... What you got for me here, Flutie? Ah. A mirror. Oh, I see. Reflect the beam. Very cool. Oh, I get it. Okay. So I've got to divert the power to turn things on. Um, oh, you want me to hit the eye? Okay. Where's the eye? A little touchy. There we go. Need to raise it up a bit. Oh, okay. I see what I'm doing here. I'm controlling the weather. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, all right, Flutie, what you got? Looks like I got a some sort of a bowl of dirt. Oh, okay. You want me to plant some seeds here? Very cool. I'm assuming. Man, this is pretty damn cool. Um, oh, we need some rain. Okay, that one's rain. I really like how the skybox is changing. Okay, and now I'm going to give it some clouds. Um, assuming that was this one. Whoa, Flutie. Hey, hey, yo, Flutie, get out of my way. You're killing me here. I'm trying to run me down. I mean, at heart, this is a puzzle game, um, so I can see these puzzles getting uh, progressively harder and harder as I go. Uh, I'm going to plant another seed here. Okay. Oh, I see. So now I need to give it sun and wind. say is Flutie get out of my way. Everybody get out of my way. Getting a little crowded up here.
Rudy wants to plant. So we need some clouds and wind. Okay, so like I said earlier, the only thing I'm seeing here is, is that I, I, everything is getting so congested. Um, it'd be nice to have it in a bigger space. Okay, so now we need some wind and some rain. See, it's just right past the barrier. That works for me. All right, so now I need some sun and some... Okay. Oh, you're blocking my sun. Oh, 
was so close. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Alright, and there you have it. Okay, and there we have it. We have three flowers on the deck now. So, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here. But man, let me tell you, it, it, you know, great puzzle game. If you are looking for something that's going to make you think, you have to solve these puzzles and, and you're doing it in just a beautiful, beautiful environment in VR, I highly recommend Symphony of the Machine. This is awesome. Um, I mean, I could definitely stay in here for hours now. I'm not going to keep you guys for that long, but uh, yeah, I'm going to throw a link for this one down in the description. So by all means, check this one out for yourself. And, you know, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks, guys, and I apologize for the, uh, the uh, disappearing act, but I just had a lot of stuff going on in real life. So needed to take care of some of that. But glad to be back. Glad to have you guys with me. Thank you, as always, for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel today to check out what I do, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, man. Ch take a look at the, uh, some of the other stuff. I've been doing stuff all the way back since the DK2 days. Uh, you kind of see a little bit of how we got to where we are right now. And of course, if you're not a first timer on the channel, guys, thank you so much. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. I'm um, kind of trying to plan some cool stuff for that uh, when that happens. Uh, I've got a lot of keys to give away. I, I, I counted up, I got like 40 keys sitting in my inbox that I never used. So, might be doing a massive key giveaway here pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. But, you know, guys, thank you for your help, for helping me to get this far. And keep doing what you're doing. Like it, tweet it, share it. Let's talk about it down in the comments. Head over to forum.vrspies.com and uh, let's talk about it a little more in depth over there. But for me, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off tonight, y'all. Peace.